On a snowy night in Provo, the Waves in action at the Marriott Center, getting ready to take on BYU. For the second time in the week, the Waves would battle against the, one of the West Coast Conference's top teams and push them to the limit, at least for a while. First half highlights, and there were a lot of them. Here goes Lauren Jackson going in, scoring the first two points of the game. We'd be calling Jordan Baker's name a lot during the first half. There he goes, driving in for two. Here's Jordan again on the baseline. The jumper rolls around the rim before going in. Jordan Baker 4-3, giving the Waves an 11-10 lead. A little later, Jordan Baker from the left baseline for three again. The Waves up 21-15. He didn't just do it from the outside. Here goes Jordan, offensive rebound and the putback. Waves up 26-19. Austin Mills playing the most minutes of his freshman season. Sinking the three-pointer, waves up 33-26. Jordan Baker, 20 points in the first half. There's his last two. Waves up 35-26 right then, 35-30 at halftime. Stacy Davis would get the first two points of the second half, but the rest of the game would be all BYU. The Cougars would go on to win 76-51. Turnovers, BYU's defense, all leading to just 16 second-half points by the Waves. Waves outshot for the first time in 14 games. Let's hear from head coach Marty Wilson. Well, you know what, they, they made a great adjustment. Uh, Coach Rose and their staff made a, a great adjustment. They, they had trouble guarding uh, Jordan Baker in the first half and getting 20 points and, and just creating plays. In the second half, they doubled him uh, off the ball screens. They just doubled him anytime he got it and dared our other guys to have to make the play. And we couldn't score for a while. Uh, we were stuck on, uh, on 40 for a little while. They got their run going, and then they jumped in their zone, which made us a little bit more deliberate in our offense. And uh, it was a great adjustment by them. Uh, we, we, we had a great game plan. Uh, we, we wanted to double Davies in certain areas, on, in, on certain uh, spots of the floor, certain sides of the floor. And uh, we wanted to try to make it tough on Halls to get easy catches, easy looks. Obviously, they helped us by Carlino getting in foul trouble. Uh, so they couldn't run their offense as, as uh, fluidly. And, uh, but we, we stuck to our game plan. We did a great job defensively with them in the first half. And ours in the second half, we, uh, we just couldn't let it uh, get away from us.